Hi guys, it's uh, Tim from Crowley's and we're back again and this week it's uh, going to be all about laser engraving glass. What we're going to do this time is um, we've got these little glass jars and we're making these as little wedding gifts. They're going to be a great little souvenir for all your guests. Yeah, just follow through and you'll just be able to watch our process the way we're doing it. We're just doing a speed run through of just watching our process on how we make it. On some of our next videos we're going to start making some more step-by-step -step tutorials. So keep an eye out for those but make sure you watch to the end to see how these glass jars turn out. All right, Thank you. So the items that we used in this video is going to be a laser engraver. Doesn't matter what type of laser engraver you do, as long as it's like a CO2 based one, they're pretty good on glass. Um, you could even use a UV laser or something. We've got our glass jars and just a design. So we just need to get our design from, we're doing ours in Corel Draw, but you can get your design from uh, any other vector program, whichever you like, or just download a design from somewhere. Hey guys, make sure you stay to the end. We want to see how these things turn out. So just keep going, just keep watching to the end. And make sure if you haven't already, click that bell icon down there. It's probably time to subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure you do. All right, let's get back into the video. Come on, just keep watching. Here we go. So there you go, that was our process of the way we went through it. You notice our little Lego board in there. Um, that's a good little trick to better help alignment. Uh, so you've got little things to align a glass jar up. The Lego is always gonna sit in the center of wherever it wants to be. So that's center line and you can always take that as being right in the dead top center so that way you can have the same distance down either side of the glass that's pretty cool you've got a router tool to rotating tool so that way you can um rotate it all the way around that'll be even cooler but we don't have one of those have you noticed maybe that's a, another thing we need to get later on but for the moment 
We're just sitting it down and just doing the square that's on top and that's how we etch onto there. So right at the very end, we're going to show a couple more clips of the finished product to show you how the glass turned out. Don't forget to like, comment down below if you got any questions or any other things that you want us to do. If you want us to cover some more step-by-step -step tutorials, don't worry. We can hear you, we're, we're doing some next. So keep an eye on it for those. So make sure you hit that bell icon to make sure you're notified of any other new videos coming out and any of those step-by-steps if you're waiting on those. Please subscribe and keep making. Thank you.